Well, hey everybody, this is not the video that I wanted to make, trust me, but it's a little bit disheartening with the way that everything happened. So, you know, I've had the DJI Osmo Pocket now for almost three months, love the thing. The audio has been the issue with it and a lot of people they've talked about it. And although they've even improved the audio with the latest firmware and improved the autofocus to a degree, the audio was still lacking and all of us were all wanting an external audio adapter. Now, it finally got released over the weekend. It got put up on their website and I ordered it right away. Uh, ordered it on Monday, as a matter of fact, and it got here today, Thursday, and a little bit expensive. When you think about $39 for this little bitty USB-C to 3.5 millimeter, when you think of something that's that small, I don't know if that's going to focus or not. There we go. $39. I thought, wow, okay, that's kind of a GoPro thing with the audio adapter, but let's just leave that aside. And then I paid 15 bucks to have it shipped to me, and it gets here in three days. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, it's here. Uh, ordered it, like I said, Monday afternoon. So not bad. It arrives. I do some testing with it with all these different microphones and guess what it doesn't work I did everything that the little manual let me tell you this is the manual I'm six foot six so this is gonna be kind of small but it's very small it's written in a ton of different languages can we get that to focus here the camera's giving me attitude today so little instructions all it says is the very bold disclaimer saying that they're not responsible for any damage that's done using this audio adapter that's kind of a little bit disheartening but okay so you're supposed to use a TRS plug TRS plug for those of you that don't know is a plug like this right here get that to focus Hang on, let me switch this to manual and we'll just manually focus this dude right there. So that's a TRS plug. One, two, three. So you got two little insulators, two of the black insulators, and then you've got a ground, contact, contact. Put this back to this focus here. So I'm using the right microphones per what DJI says. Do not use the TRRS plug, which is the one that has three little insulators in it. So I do all that and I'm going to show you some of the footage just so you can see for yourself of what the audio, what happens. All right, quick little audio test with Osmo Pocket shooting 1080p 30 frames per second and using the onboard microphones of the Osmo Pocket. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now, I don't know if I can actually do this, but I'm gonna take the Osmo Pocket adapter here, and then I'm gonna take my little lapel mic. I don't know if you can see here. Let me show you the lapel mic. So that's the mic that I'm gonna use. And the three and a half millimeter TRS plug. It says that you cannot use a TR or a TRRS plug for this audio adapter. I'll try to do this one handed here, so bear with me. Okay, recenter. So let's plug this in and see what happens. All right, is the audio working now? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And the only way to really test it is to take the microphone and touch it. All right, so that philosophy didn't work at all. So getting a little bit frustrated, but then again, that's why I do these little product reviews. Let me get this thing to recenter here. And to show you if it's working, if it's worth it, or if it's not. So I'm going to try to plug this in 
because right now I'm using the onboard microphone. So I'm going to try to plug this in like I did in the first video to see does it connect. So now I'm connected just the way that DJI says to connect it. See if that works. I just unplugged it just in case the audio went blank. And I plugged it in just the way that DJI says. Now I'm going to plug it back in the way that I first had it and see how does that work. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm really curious now to see will this microphone still work? I'm unplugging the audio adapter just in case the audio was absolutely useless. Okay, now I'm going to try the Movo microphone. It's the microphone that I showed you with the GoPro Hero 567 vlogging setup, the latest video I did. I'll put a link up here for you to check that video out. But let's try this Movo and see if it actually works. So I'm going to plug this in the way that DJI recommends. All right, checking the audio on this one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five to see does this work? Got a one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Do do I have that look of frustration going on right now? Uh, that's exactly what I have going on, the look of frustration. So what I'm going to try to, now since the Movo and the other lapel microphone, come on, face track, and the lapel microphone are not powered microphones, maybe it needs a powered microphone. So I'm going to try this KNF Concept powered microphone, and I'm going to keep it at 0 dB because it does have a 10 dB gain on it. But I'm going to keep it at zero just to see how it does. Now I'm going to plug this in just like DJI wants you to. Audio one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Now something happens with. The audio. It either works for like two to three seconds and then stops. Now, the first time I used it, it actually worked for maybe about 10 or 15 seconds and then it just cut out. And then the next microphone, it worked for like two seconds, cut out. Next microphone, nothing. Next microphone, two seconds, cut out. And I'm making sure that this USB Type-C, it is in there firm. There's no wobbling around. The connection for the three and a half millimeter, it fits in here perfectly. So there's not a loose female end here. So after trying six different microphones, what happened? Well, either it didn't work or it only worked for a couple seconds and then it just stopped. So I try to troubleshoot before I do anything. So I was like, okay, maybe I need to put ProTune on Oh, well, not Pro Tune because that's a GoPro thing, but put it on Pro, and maybe that's what I need to do because you've got the low, moderate, and high, and auto that's in Pro for the audio settings. So I did that, and that didn't fix it either. So then I thought, well, maybe I have to have the phone attached because there's like no instructions in here at all of how to hook it up. Are you supposed to turn it on? and then plug it in are you supposed to plug it in and then turn it on by the way i've tried both ways still the same thing so i thought i don't know maybe you're supposed to plug your phone in so i plugged my iphone 7 plus into it and you would see the little audio and then it would just drop off just go away and then there's no audio so i don't know what's going on i tried it with unpowered microphones and also powered microphones thinking, okay, well, maybe it's this or that. I, I don't know, maybe it needs a little bit of a phantom signal or phantom power going into it. The reason for this video is I have been a DJI fan for a very, very long time. From my DJI drones, 
Okay, I have one person telling me that DJI Tello is not a DJI product, but it's got DJI technology in it. So I've got the Tello. I've got my Phantom series. I've got the Mavic Pro. I've got the DJI Spark. I was actually even thinking about getting the Mavic Air just because it shoots 4K at 100 megabits per second. Got the DJI Osmo Pocket. And then I spent $54 for this little dude to be shipped to me and it's not working so where is my rank coming from so I get online I go to DJI I do customer support where you're logged in and you're talking to somebody and I give them the order number everything that's happened I even send them samples of the video so that they can see for themselves what's going on after a lengthy about an hour conversation um, with this gentleman and he was very nice and I don't I don't fault him at all he's just customer service so he's trying to do what he can do and I even tried to get him to get his boss involved and he said unfortunately this is the way it is so here was my alternative yes if you want a replacement audio adapter they'll be more than happy to I will have to send this to California okay not a big deal has to be on my dime really okay so it has to be on my dad, no problem. So I'll send it to California, to the address that they provided. For me to get a replacement audio adapter, it will be three weeks, three weeks. So I got this audio adapter sent to me in three days, but it's gonna take three weeks for me to get a replacement that I spent $54 on this little dude right there. That upset me a little bit. So as the conversation continued on, I just said, you know what, let's just call it a loss. It is what it is. I'm gonna send this back to the California address and I would like a prompt refund of my $54 because I don't think I should have to pay shipping for something that's faulty. It's gonna be three weeks before I get a refund. That's where I got a little bit perturbed because I was like, well, First, you make us wait three months for this, for a product that you release to market, which I think that they release it a little bit on the quick side. I don't know what the hurry was, but that's none of my business. I am not marketing. I'm not a manufacturer of this product, so it is what it is. Then you have all these other accessories that you have that you release like pretty much right away. Everybody's begging for the audio adapter. Everybody's trying all these different audio adapters from the GoPro to all these USB-C to three and a half millimeters and none of them are working. So they finally release it. To me, I think it's way overpriced for what it is. I think one day somebody's gonna open this dude up and see how they wired it or what the deal is. If there's a special resistor on there or what, but I think somebody's gonna open one of these up, see what's going on, they're gonna copy it and sell it for a lot less and make a, a ton of money. But I think customer service wise, when someone spends that type of money on a product, not cheap, definitely not cheap. And it's a faulty product because they rush it to market because it just came out, it just got released this weekend or this past weekend and you get it and it doesn't work and I've seen a couple because I was looking on YouTube and I've seen a couple of videos where people have finally got theirs in and they seem to be working fine but I think you know and I'm very understanding and I want everybody to understand this I am very understanding about human error that sometimes things are made and it's faulty it is what it is right I mean we're all humans we all create these things and sometimes people make mistakes I'm good with that but don't make the customer don't punish the customer for that type of problem if it's a faulty unit customer service dictates that you take care of it now okay fine you want this back you, at least you don't want me to ship it back to China which is a good thing but you want me to ship it to California okay good you want me to ship it on my dime fine I'll ship it on my dime to California get it there but they tell me that I have to wait three weeks to get another one when it took three days for me to order this one. Or if I want a refund, it's going to make 
it's gonna take three weeks for me to get a refund? I'm sorry, that just doesn't fly with me. So, I mean, all in all, is it a very sour taste in my mouth? Yes. Well, I tell everybody, please be cautious when you buy the DJI product, the little audio adapter, because it may not be worth it. You may get stuck with an item that doesn't work, it's faulty. And if that's the case, be prepared because you're gonna wait three weeks either for a replacement or three weeks for you to get a refund. Be very careful. If you bought one of these DJI audio adapters, be very, very careful. And also know in advance that if you buy it and it doesn't work, you've got a three week wait to either get a replacement or to get a refund. So I've also contacted PayPal, which is how I paid for this. And PayPal was basically just saying, send us the shipping information and that it was received and then we'll get involved. But they're also gonna give the seller an opportunity to respond. Fortunately, PayPal is gonna say, well, we've gotta give the seller at least two, three weeks to respond. So I'm gonna to have to make a phone call to PayPal and get somebody involved with that. But anyway, FYI, looking for the audio adapter, DJI Osmo Pocket, be very, very careful. I don't like to do these kind of rant videos and I know there's a lot of people that say karma is, you know, but if this channel is about, is it worth it or not? I can't always show you products that are great and say everything is fabulous. Sometimes you just have to call it what it is. Now, this is not a channel that's based around send me products and I'm only going to review the good products. If they're really good, then I'm just going to show them to you. And if they're not, if they're not good and they're bad, I'm just never going to do a review on it. That's not the way that this channel is geared. It's called worth it or not for a reason. It's to let you know consumer wise where your money should go, how it should be spent, and is it worth spending? You should have sent me a replacement. Anyway, hope you have yourself a great day. Remember, be good to one another and always stay true to yourself. Call it like it is. That's all I can say. So until next time, bye-bye.